Let us take you live to Milimani Lokot, where the Sonko ruling is ongoing, and uh, Justice Nyangai is speaking. Let's take a look and listen into uh, the proceedings there. Demanded for more documents which were brought while the complainant was still seated at the respondent's desk. According to counsel, the respondent had 14 days to verify the documents, particularly the existence of the appeal. He further submitted that uh, this committee has a duty to bring home the rights under Article 38 of the Constitution. Mr. Katesia, in his submission, told the committee that the respondent was not fair in doing her job and that she was applying double standard. He made reference to Article 47.1 of the Constitution and placed emphasis on the word reasonable as used under that article. He also made reference to Article 24 of the Constitution in which he argued that the respondent is an authority who is required to ensure the constitutional dictates of equality and equity are met. On the issue of double standards, Council made reference to a Gazette notice dated 18th February 2021, in which the name of uh, Governor Ferdinand Waititu appeared as uh, a gubernatorial candidate in Kiambu County by election, and yet he had been impeached. It was Council's contention that if Governor Waititu was cleared by IBC despite his impeachment, why should they treat the complainant differently? Council stated that uh, this fact was brought to the attention of the respondent. He pointed out that at the time he was uh, cleared, Ferdinand Waititu had a case before the High Court challenging his impeachment, the same way the complainant has an appeal before the Supreme Court challenging his impeachment. Counsel further pointed out that IABC is a party to the matter before the Supreme Court and therefore the respondent should have been aware of the appeal. On his part, Dr. Haminwa referred the committee to Articles 259.3, Article 38.3, and Article 159.2, 193.3, and 21.1 of the Constitution. He argued that 75, Article 75.3 of the Constitution is not applicable at all in this matter as um, as a stand-alone provision. The Mr. Mukele, counsel for the respondent, began his submissions by clarifying that uh, Governor Ferdinand Waititu has not been cleared for purpose of the purposes of the general election to be held on 9th August 2022. He argued that the documents presented by the complainant as a basis of alleging bias and discrimination only relate to a by-election in 2021 and not any other election. He explained that the Gazette notice referred to by the complainant's counsel was not a clearance but an intent to participate in an election. According to counsel, this is pro procedural and it is done before candidates are cleared. Counsel pointed out that even the complainant was gazetted as an aspirant ahead of the nomination process. On the issue of Article 38 and the complainant's political rights, counsel submitted that the respondent acted in full appreciation of rights under Article 38 of the Constitution and the laws that govern the conduct of elections. Council urged the committee to disregard the submission 
that the degree issue was brought to the attention of the respondent at 3.30 p.m. and that the respondent allowed the claimant to bring more documents the following day. It was counsel's position that these issues do not appear in the complainant's affidavit and therefore amount to adducing of evidence from the bar. Counsel contended that uh, there was no request by the complainant for extension of time to allow him present his documents later. Counsel summarized the reasons for the respondent's refusal <coughs> to clear the complainant as failure to present original degree certificate, failure to comply with Article 75 of the Constitution, and failure to present certified copy of degree certificate from the relevant university. According to counsel, the complaint as drawn only challenges the disqualification of the complainant under Article 75 of the Constitution. Counsel also played a video to demonstrate that the Supreme Court appeal was brought to the attention of the respondent on the 8th June 2022, after the period of clearance had lapsed. He contended that this was an attempt to supply out of time documents that should have been presented on the 7th June 2022. According to, uh, uh, regarding the claim made by the complainant, that that evidence of the existence of Supreme Court appeal was presented to the respondent in form of a letter from the complainant's advocate counsel for the respondent that the said letter was received at 4.31 p.m. Additionally, counsel argued that the letter referred to by the complainant's counsel only referred to existence of an appeal without any proof. Very well, that's the IBC Dispute Resolution Tribunal. They're making its ruling on that Mike Sonko matter. Of course, he will be able to know his fate uh, for his Mombasa governor bid once that ruling is delivered in full. And of course, our reporter, Sarafina Robi, will also be giving us more detail.